The only thing I need to see is EIP one five five nine, man. When that thing comes out, yo. <laughs> Can you tell us more about what that is and what it plans what it plans to do? I'm sorry, Maddie. Can you tell us more about what what that is and what it plans to do? Oh yeah, well it's a, the Ethereum improvement proposal. So basically, it's that the token burning mechanism. They're gonna be able to take some. There's multiple things, but the thing that's most bullish is some of the transaction fee that goes to the miners. Typically, is gonna be basically burned, and that's gonna make over time Ethereum deflationary. So for people who don't know, one of the big criticism of Ethereum over Bitcoin, you know, besides the fact that it, you know they can't do. Well, Bitcoin can't do what Ethereum does, but they're basically saying, oh, the inflation is basically, uh, uh, it's not finite like Bitcoin 21 million. It's infinite. It's just a percentage and it just prints. Now, based on that Ethereum improvement proposal, what's being uh, assessed and most likely going to happen due to trading volume, which we already have, the volume could be so high that the trading amount of volume, basically the trading fee that's being burned on a daily basis could be greater than the inflation being created. So in other words, just quick math, simple basic example, if inflation generates, let's say $100,000 a day worth of ETH paid to the miner, but then we're burning also 100000 or $150,000 worth of ETH based on that internal improvement proposal, What's going to happen is now Ethereum becomes deflationary because there's the total supply circulation start to go down, although it inflates every day to pay the miners, but it also burns to, to compensate for that. So this is going to be huge because that makes it better than Bitcoin even more. Although Bitcoin is at 19 million, Ethereum is at 118 million right now because the thesis is still based on Ethereum being inflationary all the time. The moment the thesis changed to deflationary, all of a sudden Ethereum becomes twice more valuable, many more mm -hmm. times more valuable because that means that it's literally overnight becomes from inflationary to hopefully uh, breaking zero or deflationary because Bitcoin is still inflationary. People don't understand that. It just inflates at a lower rate every four years.